Hello watch fans! Berth here watches here and this time for you we have a 1971 Eternomatic 2002. Now we know it's made from sem in 71 because of the serial number 2002 was a long time in the future then and it seems a long time ago now. So what do we have? Uh, an automatic movement hence Eternomatic in-house with hacking Signed crown with the five ball bearing logo, also is on the dial, which was an Eterna invention. The movement in this went on to be one of the ETA automatics served in many, many watches. Nice clean dial, there's a slight bend in this corner on the dial. Very difficult to pick up, but I mean it's slight. And there's also slight marks on the acrylic as well. Again, slight, it's a 50 year old watch. Quick set date, it's a clamshell case, so you've got four screws and you have to pull the crown sharply out and it will uh, split the stem of the crown. It's designed to do it like that, but nothing, uh, if anything, it helps keep the movement very clean and it stops people tinkering in there that shouldn't be in there. And we've fitted it with this blue strap because we found one in Eterna's book uh, that had a blue strap and a blue dial. And I thought it looked quite good. With this colour scheme though, silver dial, silver case or stainless steel, you can fit any colour strap you want and it's standard 18mm lugs. So uh, if I'm asked, which I occasionally am, what watches are still undervalued, Certina and Eterna vintage watches are right up there. You know, we've all missed the boat trying to find the cheap Amiga. Longines have caught up, but these haven't. And you're definitely talking the same sort of quality. This very, very nice watch is available now at berthierwatches.com and there is a link in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing should you like old watches. We've always got something new and interesting coming in. 